kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video, and in this video, I will teach you how to use the multiple recycler views inside an activity. So basically, we will try to implement the nested recycler views, the recycler view within a recycler view. Okay, so the example, uh, the best example for this is the Play Store. So where, uh, so first of all let me show you the demo so here you can see that we have uh, an activity and inside that activity we have a recycler view a horizontal recycler view and also we have the vertical recycler view so here you are able to see all these recycler views and okay so in this video i will teach you how to create such type of recycler views okay so if i click on more so you are able to see title 5 and if i click here you can see name 1 all right and after you learned this series i mean if you learn the concept so you can easily integrate that inside your application so here is another example of this and let me show you so here this is the app which i am developing and inside that you now you are able to see these multiple recycler views and here you are able to see all right so let's get started so here you can see if i click on more so the songs are displayed here all right so guys let's get started so as okay so here i have created the project so first of all uh, uh, what i will require is the we need to first of all go to build.gradle and here we need to first of all add some dependencies and for that we can add first of all the card view we will be using that and also we need the recycler view dependency all right so after that we need the material design library and here you can see that and click ok all right so after that we need to add the maven repository so we can say maven dot google dot com and i click on sync now and after that we will be using the glide library to show the images here uh, as you know that we the glide is used so here you are able we will be uh, doing that and okay so here we can say compile com dot github dot bump tag dot glide 4.2.0 okay so i click on sync now so we will integrate with the glide also and okay so here we have the main activity and first of all we will try to use and okay so here we can say recycler view match parent match parent and let's set the id to recycler view all right then after that we just need to include that recycler view so we can say recycler view vertical recycler view then we can bind it so we can say vertical recycler view equal to recycler view find view by id uh, dot id dot recycler view and after that we can say vertical recycler view dot set has fixed size and we 
make it true then we can set the layout manager so for that we can say vertical layer uh, recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and inside this linear layout manager first of all we can pass this then we can pass the orientation so we can say linear layout manager dot vertical and the final this will be false all right so after we set up the layout manager so we can simply uh, okay so here we can make the adapter make vertical adapter for recycler view so here we can okay so here let's create a new package and name the package as adapters then inside that adapters we can create our adapter so here you can see we can create a new java class and we can name it as vertical recycler view adapter and we need to first of all extend it with this recycler view dot adapter and inside that we can say vertical recycler view adapter dot vertical recyc rv view holder okay so here we need to first of all create the class public class vertical rv view holder and we need to extend it with recycler view dot view holder and here we can generate the constructor all right then after that we also need to implement the methods so here click on alt enter and click on implement methods and click ok so here we have these three methods on create view holder then we have the on bind view holder and get item count okay so here first of all okay so here first of all we we need to make the model classes so let's create a new package name and name the package as models and inside that models we can create a horizontal model first of all and inside that horizontal model what we can do is we can just say string name description and we can okay so here let's generate the getter and setter so here we can just okay and after that we can create the vertical model and the vertical model will contain string title and then the array list of type vertical model sorry so here it will be of type horizontal model array list and we can generate the getter and setter so okay so now our model classes are complete so now we can okay so here we can first of all initialize the context then we can have the array list of type vertical model and we name it as array list and here we need to create the <coughs> constructor so here we can say public vertical recycler view adapter and inside that first of all we will pass the context and then the array list of type vertical model and here okay so there was there is a mistake okay so here we need to name it array list then we can say this dot array list equal to array list and this dot 
context equal to context all right then after that inside our own create view folder so let's create the view and inflate it so we can simply say view equal to layout inflator dot from and we can pass parent dot get context then we can inflate our dot layout dot and we can name it as item vertical and we can pass parent and false okay so we will create the item vertical so let's create it here and click new name it as item vertical then click ok all right and after that here we can simply return new vertical rv view holder and inside that we can pass the view okay and after that what we can do all right so here we can okay so first of all let's try to open this item vertical and write the code here for the layout so here first of all we will have the linear layout and here we can say match parent and it will be wrap content then the okay so here i already have the orientation as vertical and we set the padding as 5 bp okay and inside that we have the relative layout of match parent wrap content then we have the padding of 2 dp then inside that the cycler view we can have the text view and inside that text view we have wrap content and inside that we can first of all here assign some Mm, align it so we can say align parents start and we mark it as true then we can say center vertical and also mark it as true then we have the gravity and we set the center vertical the, the gravity and then we can say okay so here we can have the text and set text to title then we have text color and we change the color to color primary and text size will be 18 sp okay so here we will have the title and also we need to have the button so here we can say button we mark it as wrap content and height will be 42 dp then we have line parent end so we can say line parent end to true then we have center vertical to true and text more and we have the text color too and okay so here we can change the the background color so we can say background color is primary all right and okay and after that we inside that okay so outside this relative layout we will have the recycler view so here we can okay so first of all before that we need to have it okay to start off and we can pass the okay so here let me set the id btn more and let's just 
copy that and here now after this relative layout we need to set up the recycler view so here we can say recycler view and it will be of width match parent and 160 dp then we have the layout gravity and we will be set it to center vertical then we will have the orientation and the orientation will be horizontal all right so now we have this layout item for the vertical recycler view okay guys so i think the video is a bit longer so i pause the video and i will continue from the next part of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye